What's going on, everyone? Welcome to another player rating show here on Back of the Net. Hope your Wednesday is wonderful, uh, full of sunshine, rainbows, flowers, and all things beautiful. Positive vibes only, look, in all seriousness. That was a bad one, wasn't it? That was a bad one. Went down 1 0 to Derby and just didn't turn up. Lowest point of the season so far, no doubt about that. Really difficult one to, um, to watch. It really was. Um, started the game poorly and just never recovered never recovered credit to Derby they done what we all expect them to do work hard and there's uh, something to be said for that in that we've got an array of talent an array of quality on the pitch but something to be said for, for proper grit determination fight and a will to win we just didn't have that just want there and everyone's got to look at themselves the players the staff we've all got to look at why that that was the case you know and and why we look so low on confidence, we look so lethargic, we look like we're playing with the world expectation on our shoulders and there's no freedom. There's, there's, there seems to be a fearfulness to the way we're playing. And uh, yeah, it's a tough one. You know me, I'll, um, I'll remain positive. Uh, can't be positive about last night's performance, but um, there's a long way to go, fortunately. There is a long way to go. And, and yeah, we... We've got the ability to bounce back. We've got the we've got the quality there, and we need the leaders in the team and, and and the staff to to get these players motivated and get these players up for it and achieve our goals. Because if we keep performing like that, regardless of any system or formation, we're, we're not going to achieve them. Um, in terms of the, in terms of the team, we yeah, a lot of people don't want to see that system, myself included. By the way, um, I'm not someone that is totally kind of against certain systems. I, you know, at the end of the day, we've got, I looked at the team last night and thought, well, we've got more than enough to beat Derby. We've got enough quality on the pitch. If they all perform to their maximum levels, we'll, we'll win the game. But they didn't. And even changing the system at half-time to about four didn't change that. Um, I think the problem at the moment, but yeah, like I say, I, I personally think we've got, when you're playing that three at the back, I think that's fine. I think it can be, positive that system I remember Conte I think it was at Chelsea and they were electric with that three at the back and you know we played for it I remember going I was fortunate enough to go to the Huddersfield game when short short time where fans were allowed and we played a three at the back there I think Stanislas was wing back you know and we absolutely murdered them but you've got to implement that style in the right way and we're not we're playing a back three against a team that are sitting back which most teams, the majority of teams will do against us, sit back, make it difficult, make it nasty. And if, if they're doing that, then the three at the back almost seems pointless um, because you might as well use one of their men into the middle of the midfield because Jeff and Jeff and Lewis are, are isolated in there against people that are just working their socks off. And if you're going to play that three at the back, you've got to up the tempo. It's the tempo for me at the moment. It's so slow. Um they're just, you know, our back three are just passing it amongst each other and the opposition are going to go on then. We'll wait. We need to be quicker. We need to up the tempo. It's we've got to be braver. We've got to take the game to these teams. These these type of teams have a, have a game plan and to nick a goal and to try and keep a clean sheet. Fact, fact. And they're just going to make it, make it dirty and make it nasty and make it a real battle because they know that we've got better players. So that's all they can do. The thing that we're doing at the moment is we're not starting well. We've got to start games well. We start games well, be brave, take to the opposition. We get an early goal. Suddenly their game plan's out the window because now they've got to go and score. So they're going to come out and then we can pick them off with our ability. But the problem is we're starting games so slow and poorly. The opposition are getting a getting a lead and then they've got someone to hang on to. So it's even harder to break them down. So um, we need to start better. We need to up the tempo. They're, they're the two things that are, that are really key for me and, we we need to look at ways to get the best out of this team. Uh, fortunately, I, I, I remember when we had a, a little little bad spell in performances and lost to Sheffield Wednesday, our first defeat. And fortunately, we know Jason is willing to change it. He's willing to change personnel and, and system and, and things like that. And we bounced back really quickly. And this is the first time we didn't bounce back from a defeat. But um, he doesn't seem to be afraid to make to make changes. So um, that would be interesting to see what we do. We... But the players need to have a, have a long look at themselves, a lot of them, and just think, 
am I giving my all for sure? Yeah, cause I just don't think they are. I think a lot of them were just going for emotions, and um, yeah, it was it was tough to watch. Definitely tough to watch. But like I say, the ratings ain't gonna be ain't gonna be wonderful. But fortunately, as always, we have to start and go with Azmir Begovic and leading by example. Isn't he? He's leading by example once again. Some brilliant saves. Couldn't do much about the goal, but he's doing what he can do at the moment and uh, best goalkeeper in the league. Uh, just give him an eight out of ten, and like I say, leading by example, showing that experience, and we'll try and we'll try and stick with that theme. And one of the only other players that I thought could leave the game with his head held high, and talk about leading with experience. Is that leading with experience? Um, is Steve Cook? Steve Cook, captain. He's he's showing the he he. I'll be shocked if he wasn't going mad in the changing room after the game. He was our biggest attacking threat in terms of trying to drive for He was trying to do everything. Um, proper captain's display and that's something that, at least that's something that fills me with confidence in the sense that we've got a leader here. We've got a captain that I think can galvanise the group. And as I say, with, with Azmir leading by example and Cookie didn't deserve to be on the losing team last night. I felt for him. He tried his all. And the two players mentioned here are the, are the, the only two that could, could be shouting out the match. I'm not even going to... Um, really say I'm out of the match because it was one of them games but but yeah Cookie and Asmir were the two that we're, we're going to start with fortunately that were well yeah they've done their jobs but feel for Cookie because he must have been fuming he must have been fuming but he put his all in and I'm really glad he's our skipper and he's our, he's our man that can hopefully um, grab grab the boys and get them together and say look we need to do more um, so yeah I'll just give Cookie an 8 as well but yeah, can't deny cookies. Fine for the club as he always does. Um, so obviously, as we alluded to, went to that three. Uh, Colour to the right of him was um, a player that's only just come to the club. Uh, well, come to the club, only just started playing. That's Cameron Carter Vickers, back to fitness. He was pulled off at half time. Um, I don't think it was personally for his performance. I mean, anyone could have really come off at half time, but obviously, Jason wants to change something. Felt like an odd one at the time, but don't know if it is fitness levels. He. He's a good player, not like Carver, because he is a good player and I think he'll, he's going to be key for us, but I don't know. I, I thought he was okay, but he, he does look like he, he's got a slow, t he hasn't got much pace there. He, he, he looked quite slow at times and um, yeah, he didn't he didn't look brilliant, but no one did and he certainly wasn't one of the worst and I don't think anyone was calling for him to come off half time, put it that way, but it was, we'll just, only played the first half, we'll just give him five, it's probably quite generous but I don't think he's one of the ones that deserves a loads of criticism. Um Lloyd Kelly probably does though. I think Lloyd's improved of late. But last night he was hopeless. Um also probably say at fault but he, he should have won the other for the goal. Um, a little bit unfortunate but he should have done better. I don't I feel for Lloyd in the sense that I don't think Jason knows where to play him. We know he's got quality. Is he best as a left centre back? Is he best as a centre back in the two? Is he best at left back? I'm not sure. The expectations were quite high, high with Lloyd when we saw him come into the team um, after the first lockdown, but he's he's really not on there at the moment. He's, he slows things down. He's yeah, I'm not, not convinced by Lloyd at the moment. Um fortunately I have seen performances as I as I mentioned that no he's got quality there but He's all over the place at the moment. All over the place. Um, I mean, you can imagine, all of you lot watching, I'm sure you know um, what I'm like. So it's quite painful for me to have to go so low on the ratings. Listen, I, um, I love this team and I, I want to remain positive and, and keep up beating until the end of the season. It was, um, it was a bad spell at the moment. But yeah, it's quite hard for me to give give these players such low ratings when I, um, I believe in them. I believe in them. But... Um, it's probably generous to give him a four, but I'm going to just give him a four. I think four was kind of my, probably going to be my go-to for this one, to be honest with you, and that's definitely not unfair. Um, in terms of the wing-backs, and to be fair, Jack Stacey on the right-hand side, good to see him back, by the way. He definitely wasn't one of the worst players. Was, was okay, I thought was okay. He doesn't deserve too much criticism. I thought he, he tried to do his bit, um, didn't always get work for him, didn't always get the final ball, and he, he did provide our best chance which um, at 0-0 early in the game which Tom should have done better with and um, 
we're all happy with Jack Stacey, aren't we, really, let's be honest. Um, I'm not going to criticise Jack too much. He probably would, would have uh, wanted to do a bit better than we had before, but he worked hard, he, he still gave us an outlet. And, um, yeah, I, I love Jack and I don't think he deserves too much criticism for last night. So um, we'll just give Jack a six. Jack's okay. It's probably a fair, fair assessment, I think, for Jack Stacey. On the other side, and a, a player that's really struggling for form at the moment, Adam Smith. Similarly with Kelly, I feel for Smithy in the sense that we don't really know where he should be playing. I think Jack Stacey's clearly overall in terms of that right-hand side. Jack's performed more consistently for, for a period of time now. But he, he shouldn't be playing on the left. He's, he's not suited there. He's not natural there. I can't imagine he likes playing there. He's always going to come inside. It makes it difficult for him. So I'll give him allowances for that. But we still know Smithy's a great player. He's been unbelievable for this football club. And he's still got to do more. He's still got to do more. He's got to drive one. He's got to be braver. He's, he's doing the simple pass too many times, just cutting inside. And he's got to be braver. He's got he's got quality. And he, yeah, he needs to, like I say, allowances for the fact that he's on that left-hand side. And he hasn't had a consistent kind of partner in front of him. But he's got to be doing more. And in this league... Yeah, Smithy, Smithy's got to be doing more. Um, but yeah, another one that was pulled off and that one rightly so for me. But yeah, it's re really tough to see because I, I love Smithy and, and I would never question Smithy's work rate and energy, but it's just not happening for him at the moment. And he looks like a player that's, the nose is not happening for him at the moment. And um, yeah, maybe maybe it's about the team, but I don't know. But yeah, it's hard, hard to watch Smithy at the moment going through this bad spell because it's probably quite a few games ago, but, that, but I remember that Barnsley first half. And I think it was him and Brooksy down the right. They couldn't cope with him. He was, he was unbelievable, especially in that opening 45 against Barnsley. I don't know what's happened, but um, yeah. Let's hope Smithy picks up again soon. Four for Smithy. Uh, we'll go into the midfield now. And um, yeah, probably another one similar to to Jack Stacey that wasn't wasn't too bad. He's, we can always kind of rely on him and that's Lewis Cook. I think what I will say is from um, performance levels and, and in terms of the quality we know Lewis had, he didn't have a good game. He wasn't great on the ball, gave away a few silly fouls, was frustrated and didn't um, control the game as he would have liked. So let's not let's not get ahead of ourselves and said Lewis Cook had a good game because he didn't. But what I will say is what us fans want to see is that fight, that desire that passion and that will to get on the ball. He was one of the ones that was brave in the sense that he wanted to get on the ball and he's not he's not scared of making a mistake. And um, I'd have to give Lewis credit for that. Made a great clearance off the line as well. He certainly is a player that that's wanting to drive us on, that's wanting to give us all and I'll never question him for that. Yes, performance levels weren't as good, let's, let's be real about it. But but Lewis, Lewis put a shift in um, and tried to make things happen and I'll never question him for that. So, um, Similar to, to Stacey, really. I'm just going to give give Lewis a six. Next to him, I think you can all appreciate how difficult this one is for me. Uh, my favourite, Jefferson Lerma. I don't know what's happened. He doesn't look right for a few weeks now, a few games. He looks off at oh, him and Lewis Cook should be dominating. I don't know. His pass is not quite on it. He doesn't seem as energetic. He looks, he almost looks fatigued. He looks like he's carrying a knock. I don't know if he is. And I'm not going to give him allowances for that because he's just been poor. And he, he's still someone that, that I want to see in the team. And and obviously I rate very highly and love him as a footballer. But there's something not right with Jeff at the moment. He's not on his levels. And yeah, he's 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 not reaching the, the heights that we know he can. It's, yes, yeah, it's, it's concerning. Um because we know what a player Jeff could be in this in this league. Um, so yeah, really difficult to see, but he was poor. Jeff was poor. Four out of ten. Move on. Um, this one's a really difficult one. <laughs> worst player on the pitch. How's David Brooks the worst player on the pitch? I don't know what's happened there either. Um, once again, I'll say he's played in a few different roles. Not not getting a, a settled position there, but he's he's got he's one of the best players in this division. Um we were talking about 40 million for him. I mean come on. 
I don't. I, I was saying um, in the lead up to this game that I felt for him in the sense that I feel that two reasons really. I feel like he probably knows that we feel he is our main man, and he's almost trying to do too much, holding onto the ball a little bit too long. Almost looks like he's playing with a burden on his shoulders. And also the fact that I think opposition target Brooks and know he's, he's a threat. So I'll give him a couple of allowances there. But the fact of the matter is, he's a quality footballer and he's not showing it. He's not showing it. He's been poor. And every time he gets the ball. And the last two games, we've been wanting a goal and we've taken David Brooks off. That says it all. It says it all because I don't know what's happening. I don't know, don't know where his head's at. But um, he needs to give more. I'll rate Brooksy. But um, he's got to give us more. Um, he's got to fight. And he's got to do the basics better. And he's got to start grabbing games by the scruff of the neck and showing the quality that we know he has. Um, but yeah, move on. 3 out of 10. Fourth one. Um, on the other side, at the top end of the pitch, it was good to see Arnie back. Um, we got to make a few allowances for Arnie, let's be real. He's been out for a period of time. I was kind of surprised to see him chuck straight in, really. Um, Arnie's a player that's going to be key for us. I love Arnie. Um, and he can provide that bit of magic. He didn't last night, let's, let's be honest. He, he didn't look on it like like the majority. But um, yeah, he's going to be key for us, especially with Junior out now as well. I'm really pleased to see Arnie back. But um, first game back in a team performance that was shocking. Um, yeah, it didn't surprise me that, that he wasn't quite on it. But listen, allowances aside, he, he didn't have a good game. So let's give him a four and move on. Front man. Dom Solanke, someone I feel sorry for in the sense that I don't think he's getting service at the moment. I don't think we're getting the best out of Dom Solanke. We're not getting people close enough to him. We're not giving him the right, the right ammunition to score goals. Having said that, we had a chance at 0-0 that I alluded to earlier with Jack Stacey and he's got to do better. Didn't connect with it at all. Um, he's only got to connect there and the ball goes in. Wasn't good enough. Didn't have a good game whatsoever. Um, a lad that was playing with so much confidence and don't know what's happened in the last few, but um, I believe he'll, he'll continue to score goals in this league if we give him the right service and we give him the tools to do so. Having said that, um, he, he still didn't do enough. Still didn't do enough. Um, I believe Don will, will, will pick up again soon. But um, yeah, he's had a back up the games and the standard theme. Getting a four. I'm going to go into all the subs individually. They all come on. Um, none of them were any good. Um, they're all getting fours, whatever. Um, let's not let's not get too doom and gloom about it. I mean, they're all they're all rubbish when they come on. Normally, make an impact. Um, difficult game to come into. I think we, we had a few more chances and stuff in the second half and huffed and puffed a little bit. Um, but I still put that down to the fact that Derby had something to hold on to. So we we're always they're always going to allow us to have more of the ball and things like that. But um, we can talk about like I have the fact that they showed more desire and they fought hard and they sat back, etc, etc. They still had a lot more shots than us, you know. So let's not let's not say, you know, Derby come and had a game plan and and we had so many chances and they just defended well. They had more chances than us. Um, I'm not sure off the top of my head, but we definitely had less than 10 goal attempts and they had more um, than they had about 12. So yeah, um, credit to Derby, like I say, had a game plan. But the, the, the thing that frustrates me the most is that I think we all knew that's the derby we potentially see, but we it was like the players didn't expect it, I and mean, they should be expecting it by now. These are what teams do against us, but they're a difficult one. And at the end of the day, the players cross the line and they've got to do more. But equally, you know, um, Jason's got to, got to look at it as well. And the fact that we're not starting games quickly, we look lethargic, predictable, slow in tempo. That comes from the players on the pitch, but also comes from the instructions from the from the staff and the, the management team. And yeah, things have got to be looked at a little bit. Let's let's remember that we we've got a long long way to go, um, and we've still got quality quality football players. Um, quick mention of Jack Wilshire, by the way. Great to see him come on the pitch as well. And obviously, that's that's a bit quality that that we could um, we could really do with right now. But but yeah, we just look. I'm not going to come at you and, and, and say it's all it's all rosy and we'll be fine. I believe, this type of person I am, I'm not going to change um, in the sense that I always find a positive when it comes to Bournemouth because whenever, not to get too deep on you, but whenever I've I found it difficult to find positives in everyday life, Bournemouth give me it. 
and um, I feel that the what the club's given me, and some of the memories and the moments that the club's given me, and some of these players and, and the, the coaching staff has given me, Jason in particular, as part of the, the management team for a long period of time, that they deserve my support, and they'll always get that. They'll be criticised like I have done in this in this show, criticised for bad performances, and um, if I don't think they've they've left everything on the pitch, but um, but yeah, I will. I totally appreciate everyone's moaning last night. I can't. Of course, I was absolutely fuming with what I was watching, but um, yeah, you you will always get me trying to put a positive swing on it, in the sense that I will. I'm the type, type of person that when Jason was appointed, um, that's it, I'm going to get fully behind him now for the season. Uh, I feel he's been part of our of our journey for a long period of time. I think he's I think he's earned the right to be given this opportunity and I feel like he he's told us what his goals are for the club. We all know what the goals are and that's to get promoted straight away the first time of asking. If we don't, then we'll, then we'll look again at the end of the season. But for now, I'm going to back him until the end of the season. And when the end of the season comes, we'll see where we're at. And um, trust me, if men achieved our goals, um, Jason, the players, and myself will all say that, that, we, that we failed. But we're not at the end of the season yet. You don't win anything in January. Let's see what happens. There's a long way to go. This We know what this league's going to be like. It's going to be a lot of twists and turns. If you don't think any other of the clubs going to have a blip, then, then you'll really be surprised because everyone will have a blip. Everyone will have ups and downs. That is... That is the great thing about the championship, and it is exciting. But we're going for a really bad period at the moment, and it's probably in terms of results, it's um, in the last few. But in terms of performances, it has, it has been longer. It has been longer, and we were getting away with a few things. And let's hope it's it's a real wake up call for for everyone. And let's start start sharing what we got. It was so much quality, and um, I think that's. That's what's so difficult in that we've got an unbelievable squad in this championship. But like I said, the derby showed last night, you can have all the quality in the world. There's a lot to be said for desire, fight, grit and a will to win. And that's what derby showed us. So, um, yeah, really difficult one, really difficult moment. And um, we want the players to, to get together and, and fight for each other. So as, as as supporters, as a fan base, we need to we need to stick together and um, and show support and yeah, criticise. I'm not saying never criticise, of course. Um, you're all entitled to your opinions, but let's stick together as a fan base and um, criticise performances. But let's all try to stick together as best we can. Eh? It's um, listen, it's been a lot worse. It's been a lot worse, and there's been a lot worse times here. But I, I appreciate you can't always look back to that. I'm in the present, in the present moment, it's not great. Not sure when we're going to have the next game. With the while we're calling this, there's talk of the the quarterly game potentially getting moved to the week um, rather than the weekend due to their, some of their positive cases and things like that. So we'll have to wait and see. And then obviously, I think I think it'll be a be a good game. By the way, to play quarterly, I think it's an opportunity for players that are potentially um, on the fringe of playing to go out there now and and say, you know what, I, I deserve to be in this team. We're not performing at the moment. I'm going to put my um. Put my name in the hat, so to speak. You know, people uh, like Ro Ro, if he's fit, Jane Anthony, Dan Goslin. I think there's there's something to be said for the fight of Dan Goslin as well. Potentially someone that could still have a big part to play for us, in my opinion. But yeah, and obviously the transfer window still open, so we've still got things that potentially could happen there as well. But let's try and keep spirits up, eh? It's um, it's not all bad. It's not all bad. There's um, we've got a long way to go. We've got a long way to go, and. Also, like I say, I appreciate all the all the support. I know, um, if you trust me, I get frustrated with my positivity sometimes when it comes to certain things, like this football club. I just can't. They give me so many, so many amazing moments. Like I say, so um, I'll back until the end, and I'll back Jason and the boys until the end of the season, and then we'll go from there. But um, yeah, work ahead. As I say. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Appreciate watching the video and, and please leave leave your thoughts as well. Um, let me know. Let me know if there's any players. That's what I'm interested. In. If there's any players that potentially, like I mentioned there, that are not getting the minutes at the moment that you feel could maybe add a little bit of something. Is there any 
players that you feel realistically we could potentially bring in to help us out um, in the push? Um, and is there any... I appreciate the, the sentiment behind the, the kind of three at the back and things like that, but um, what do, do you agree that I think that whatever system you play is the tempo for me? I'd be interested to see if people agree with what I'm saying, and that's the fact that we're too slow and predictable. And I just feel that there's something to be said for, for upping the pace and being a bit braver from the off. That seems to be, that's what's been evident for me watching lately anyway. Anyway, I could chat about Bournemouth all the time and football, you know that, so I'll, I'll leave to it. But um, have a good rest of the week. And remember, together, anything's possible. Up, cherries. Yeah.